So this story came out about a week ago, but I felt compelled. I have to talk about this because it's just too perfect. Um, Biden had that summit with Putin, and then he gave this press conference, and listen to what he says here. His credibility worldwide shrinks. Let's get this straight. How would it be if the United States were viewed by the rest of the world as interfering with the elections directly of other countries, and everybody knew it? What would it be like if we engaged in activities that he is engaged in? It diminishes the standing of a country that is desperately trying to make sure it maintains its standing as a major world power. And so it's not just what I do. It's what the actions that other countries take, in this case Russia, that are contrary to international norms. It's the price they pay. Imagine if the U.S. intervened in other countries the way Russia does. Huh. That'd be unbelievable. Not only do we do that, keep it real, we do it way, way, way more and way worse. I don't know if you heard, we're the world's sole superpower. We're the imperialist power in the world right now. How can he say such a thing and not be embarrassed as he says it? I genuinely don't know if he's just incredibly ignorant in every respect or he's just stupid. It's either ignorance or stupidity. It's one or the other. But, I mean, for fuck's sake, it doesn't take that. You do a Google search on this. The U.S. involves itself in regime change so much, there's literally a Wikipedia page titled United States Involvement in Regime Change. And listen, you could be forgiven if you thought, oh, after World War II when we became the world's sole superpower, that's when it started. <clears throat> Think again. Literally, like, our entire history, we've been doing this shit. I mean, the list goes on and on. Mexico, Samoa, Panama, Honduras, Cuba, Nicaragua, Mexico, Haiti, did I say Haiti? Dominican Republic. Fucking Germany, Austria-Hungary, Russia, Japan, Italy. I mean, the, literally, the list goes on and on and on. We Virtually all of Central and South America, we've intervened, tried to overthrow democratically elected governments, put right-wing puppets in there that serve our corporate interests. I mean, this is that's, that was, that's just a Cold War I'm talking about. Never mind every other... I mean, Iran is one of the key ones that comes to mind in, in 1953. Overthrowing Mohammad Mossadegh, the democratically elected leader, and putting in... The Shah as the dictator. Again, the list goes on and on. If we actually tried to go through all of them, this segment would be about an hour and a half or two hours. Because it is endless. I mean, just fucking recently. The Iraq War. You think that wasn't intervening or meddling in another country? We overthrew a government. We overthrew a government. And then, after we overthrew the government, we fired basically everybody that was in the government. Then there was a giant civil war, and we killed minimum hundreds of thousands of innocent civilians. I mean, we've intervened in every way you can imagine. We've militarily intervened. We've done boots on the ground. We've done drone strikes. We've done, um, we've done arming rebels on the ground in different places. And the idea, I think what, what he's referring to with Russia is like, they, pff, they intervened online. There were memes and shit, bro. Memes. I honestly think that's the case Biden's making. And so he's saying, we haven't done any memes. Because we're good. We've just militarily and violently overthrown countries. And armed death squads and whatnot. But that's different, bro. Because we're doing it for good reasons. Unlike Russia. Never for good reason. Ah, the rest of the world has to laugh at us when they see this shit, man. They have to laugh at us. <laughs> American exceptionalists, I mean, that they're in a religion. They really are. Everything we do is good by definition. None of the bad counts. If there is bad, we did it in the name of good, so it's good. And whenever we do X, it doesn't count as X because we say so. <laughs> so wars of aggression aren't wars of aggression because we meant well and we wanted to defend democracy. or <laughs> Something, so shut up. The U.S. lecturing anybody about international law or meddling in elections or regime change is the most hilarious thing I've ever heard. And um, anybody who's not completely brainwashed would agree. 
Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.